So once you've got a bunch of keywords that meet the criteria that we've talked about in the previous lectures, the final step then is really to assess the competition, who is appearing in the search results for that particular keyword, and will you be able to beat them? Will you be able to, to, to win that fight? So the best way to do that is really to just search in Google. So when you're checking the keyword results in a search engine specifically if you're trying to assess the competition there's two really things you might want to remember number one is sign out of your Google profile um, and number two is probably to shift to google.com so your search results aren't appearing localized so once you've got that set up you want to type in your keyword whatever it is let's just go back to this example of transcription services so as you can see, um, let's go back to our transcription services, 6,600 monthly uh, searches and um, very high uh, commercial intent it seems by the amount that people are bidding on it. Um, so as we can see, it's quite competitive here. What we want to look at now is how competitive really are these um, guys we're up against and could we you know, after we optimize and build authority, get to the top of the search results for this um, particular keyword. So really, instead of going into every page one by one and checking them all individually, there's two tools that we can use that are really going to give us a sense of what we're up against. So the first tool is SEO Quake. Um, this is a Chrome extension, which is free and it's going to give us some great information um, which I'm going to show you shortly. Now Mozbar is another one, it gives slightly different information so it's good to have this as well. So once you've got those loaded up you're going to see that underneath the search results themselves and the individual web pages you've got these two bars now. So this is the Mozbar. Um, we've seen this, the page authority and the domain authority in our SEO report before. Um, so really the important one here is the page authority because if you remember from our previous lecture, Google ranks web pages in the search results. They don't rank websites. So that's really why page authority is more important. Domain authority is obviously a factor as well. Um, but if it's a low page authority, even for you know a medium, domain authority that is a good signal so from the SEO quake bar what's really useful to look at here is the linking domains so that's the links that are pointing back to um, this website this web page here for that particular keyword um, so that's a very important thing to look at as well essentially what you're looking for is, is in these top 10 results are websites that aren't done of a high page authority or domain authority or a lot of links and that gives an indication then that you will be able to rank for these keywords. Looking down through these ones here it seems like um, they are relatively competitive so really what we're looking for is you know page authorities and domain uh, page authorities particularly of you know tens, twenties, thirties and the lower the better really. Now you, you might be wondering, well, if this is 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 you know say at the top here, this is 2020 24. How is this ranking way above this one, which is 6052? Well, you've got to remember that these tools are external. They're the really the best prediction of um, the SEO score for these particular companies. Google's algorithm is a secret, obviously. That's how they dominate the search engine market so remember that these are these give an, under, an indication but it's a, a very good indication so transcription services you might uh, you know put a question mark beside that keyword let's see if you want to look at something like audio transcription services slightly different keyword but uh, here you can see like number 6 28 37 um, a number 8 17 14 33, 23, 38, 30. These, this is more moving in the right direction 
of what you could potentially uh, compete against. So that's really what you want to do as the final step in your keyword research. You know, if you're in doubt still about whether you should, you know, optimize and build authority around that keyword, you can always uh, get a PPC campaign, pay for the pay to be on the top of the search results, gauge what the conversion is like, and then you can really make a decision to go after it if you know it's it's a keyword that's really central to your whole business and it's gonna really decide your strategy. So great, that was the final step in the keyword research process. I really hope you enjoyed this section and learned a lot. Um, now we need to move on to the next stage once we've chosen our keywords to really optimize it and that's what we're going to cover in the next section.